Day 92, June the 23rd, and this is a short clip of us coming back to the cottage after we've had our trip down to the Maltsters and back, and we're going sorting out Sunday dinner. Well, I am anyway. And, yeah, this is a very short clip, and Sheila's asked me to give her more, uh, more to do. Um, so, I'm going to let her tell you about Roxham, I think. I've had to teach her how to pronounce it, so... She might develop a Lancashire accent, I don't know. Thank you, Dave. Can I just say what a pleasure it is working under you. Roxham and Hofton St. John are two connected villages, split by the River Bewer. Most of the village facilities are actually in Hofton, but are generally known as Roxham, the capital of the Norfolk Broads. Boats of all kinds are for hire, and there is also an abundance of hotels, pubs, restaurants, shops, and a large department store. Most of the shopping is dominated around the Roy's brand, claiming to be the world's largest village store. Roxham contains many visitor attractions, including a riverside park, miniature world's indoor model museum, the Bure Valley Steam Railway, and nearby Hofton Hall Gardens, and Roxham Barnes Craft Centre. The village certainly is a busy spot in high season, but is open all year round, and is well worth a visit at any time of the year. A little way out of the village centre is Roxham Broad, home to the Norfolk Broads Yacht Club. Large free car parks can be found behind Roy's department store. Hofton Riverside Park is a great place to walk your dog. But if your little precious has a poo, please pick it up and put it in a bin, not in a tree. Kids can enjoy feeding the ducks at Granary Stave, or the Riverside Park. There is an ice cream shop in the center of Hofton, near the bridge. There is always the option of exploring Roy's toy shop if the little ones are getting on your tits. Roxham has a low bridge. The old part of the bridge dates back to 1619 and is a semicircular road bridge with only an average high water headroom of 7 feet 3 inches, making it one of the most difficult bridges to navigate on the Norfolk Broads. A bridge pilot is available for nervous skippers. A modern pedestrian bridge stands adjacent to the old bridge and gives walkers good views over the river. Even though the bridge technically divides Hofton from Roxham, they are collectively known as simply Roxham, the capital of the Norfolk Broads, however, the majority of the facilities are actually located in Hofton. To help you remember which bit is called what, the two parts, do have their own village signs. Roxham is one end of the Bure Valley Railway. Opened in 1990, the Bure Valley Railway offers an 18-mile round trip through picturesque countryside, which is as varied, interesting, and beautiful as any to be found on a railway journey in England. Norfolk's longest 15-inch gauge line runs between the ancient market town of Aylsham and Wroxham. There are also intermediate stations at Brampton, Buxton, and Coltisall. Visitors can walk or cycle along the side of the entire line to Aylsham. For those wishing to travel by train, the line runs regular, steam and diesel train services. Many thanks to tournorfolk.co.uk for most of the information. I only had to add little bits myself.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on Dave's new stuff. Tomorrow we have a trip on the Bure. We pass St. Bennet's and join the River Thurn.